Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve infinite loading, uh, black screen, and boot looping that might occur on your Windows device. So this is a somewhat common issue and I thought I'd make a brief tutorial highlighting um, a potential fix for this problem. The first thing we're going to do is try and get into our troubleshooting menu. Now keep in mind that Windows 10, if you power off your device three times in a row by doing a hard power reset, which I'm sure many of you have done in the process of just trying to turn your computer on and off, um, you will launch the automatic repair utility, which is built into Windows. So once we get to this point that's right now on the screen that says your PC did not start correctly, you want to select the advanced options button on the right side. Underneath choose an option, Select Troubleshoot, which should be the middle option here. Again, underneath the new Troubleshoot window, select Advanced Options. And now that we're underneath Advanced Options, you want to select the tab on the top right that says Command Prompt. Use the Command Prompt for Advanced Troubleshooting. So, select that. So at this point you want to type the letter C on your keyboard which or whatever your main hard drive would be labeled as and then colon and then hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that type DIR and then hit enter again on your keyboard. And the way to make sure that you're underneath the correct directory is when you see something that says program files, program files, users, windows, and perfect logs. Now, depending on what your drive label might be, it might not be your C drive, so just try different letters until you get the correct drive. In most cases, it should be the C drive, however. So now, once you've found the correct drive, you want to type CD on your keyboard, then space, then forward slash Windows, forward slash again, System32, another forward slash, and then you want to do config, or actually I should say backslash, but I believe a forward slash would work as well. Once you're done typing this in, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. And at this point you want to type in MD and then space backup. If you've done something like this in the past, you might have a duplicate um, file here, so just make sure you might put a 1 on the end of here, or 2, or something to distinguish it from a previous backup because you don't want to overwrite another one you might have already saved. So once you're done typing that in, you're going to hit enter on your keyboard again. So at this point, now you're going to type in copy, space, now you're going to do a little star, dot, and then another star, another space, and now you're going to type backup and then hit enter on your keyboard again. Now what you want to do is type CD space reg reg and then type back b-a-c-k and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to type dir again all lowercase doesn't really matter but I'm going to do all lowercase and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard again. Now, please note in my case, I have all zeros next to these entries. Um, if it says zero next to your entries, then this will not work for you if you continue forward, so stop here. Um, I would recommend going through System Restore or Starter Prepare and trying to resolve Windows through that. However, due to my computer's environment, I only have zeros here. But if you guys have values that are not equal to zero, there should be really long strings of numbers next to all of these settings on the left side. So just look in here, um, it's, if you see all zeros, then like I said, go through System Restore. If not, if you guys do have numbers, it should be several million number place values and quite a few of these. Instead, you're going to type in copy, space, star, dot, star, another space, and then two dots back to back and then hit N on your keyboard. When it says overwrite, type the letter A on your keyboard and then hit enter. And then at this point you can type exit.
And before I hit enter on my keyboard, like I said before, um, most of you guys should not have zeros here. But if you do, this method will not work for you. I'm just going to make that exceptionally clear. So anyway, we have exit typed in here. So I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to confirm that command. And then underneath choose an option, I'm going to select continue, um, exit and continue to Windows 10. And again, I hope, I do sincerely hope it works and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.